All right, hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, welcome back to the kitchen area. I think I'm gonna do all my unboxings in here just because it's so damn cold in the garage. Um, it's not really insulated. We have space heaters, but mm, it's too much work. Actually, it takes a little bit to uh, heat those up anyway. So um, anyway, we're gonna be doing our unboxing here. <laughs> and uh, don't mind the Deep Eddie's vodka. I highly recommend it if you're of age. That is one of the the best vodkas you can get. <clears throat> now, <laughs> of course, being in the kitchen, I thought it'd be right to use a steak knife um, to unbox these. So uh, right before your very eyes, we have some wheels. I'm not gonna tell you guys what these wheels are. Um, they're black, which is cool. So we're kind of keeping the, uh, the look current on the car and uh, I hope there's no damage, but it looks like these uh, <laughs> this thing went bowling because I don't know what's up with this, but yikes, 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 yikes. But yeah, without further ado, I want you guys to kind of just maybe guess what these could be. I really never sort of hinted towards what wheels I was looking at. Um, maybe I mentioned it once or twice, but um, these are the wheels that I've kind of always wanted, even with the GTI. So yeah, so I'm pretty excited to show you guys what I uh, ended up going with. So without further ado, in fact, I think the responsible way to open these could be perhaps. We're not going to do the long way. We're going to go the wide way. All right. Boom. Again, I don't want to give you guys any, any hints. None of that. You guys just have to guess. So and I was actually I do apologize. These were uh, these came a little bit earlier than I was suspecting. It's actually a little earlier than I was, and I was anticipating on making a video, but sure enough, we'll get to it. All right, you guys ready? I swear, if this is the bottom of it, I'm gonna be very upset, which I suspect it very well could be. Oh, you guys get even more teasers. It is the bottom. <laughs> I suspected. What do you guys think? Uh, any hints? Uh, some hints. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. And right before your very eyes. Oh, <laughs> another. If this was not planned, I wasn't expecting this much packaging, but it's nice to have, honestly, you know. Looks like it did survive its bowling incident. Um, yeah, let's actually just pull it off the table. Oh, oh. All right, you. What do you guys think? I don't think I can make this any more obvious, but all right, here we go. And ladies and gentlemen, these are the APR wheels. I believe these are the AO1s, they're classified as, um, and these are the slickest looking wheels, in my opinion, for the uh, the Mark 7 cars. Um, even some Audis, in fact, I've actually seen these more so on Audis than the Volkswagens, hence why I kind of, I sort of sprung for them for that very reason. Let's just put these on this chair right here. Check it out, guys. So nice. These have a pretty nice offset. I don't know the exact specs off the top of my head, but um, this will really sit flush with the car. Check that out. These are some really nice looking wheels. <laughs> oh my god, guys. Wow. Wicked nice. So the specs that I do know, it's, it's, uh, it's a 19 inch wheel, 8.5 width. Um, I don't really know what tires I'm going to run yet. I think I'm going to run a summer tire um, or maybe just a really aggressive all season tire. Um, I actually really like the tires this car came with, so maybe I'll try to look into those. The quality on these wheels is just unbelievable. And I think it's really going to you know, fit the car. So what we'll do is ugh, come with me. We're going on a trip to the garage. Um, let me think. You guys get a rough idea. Let's just uh, try to frame it. Yeah, that looks terrible. Uh, but you guys get the idea. Obviously, once it's on there, it'll be nice and flush. It won't look like a matchbox car. <laughs> but just a little, just half an inch wider than the uh, the Pretorias. But um, the real mean potatoes is that offset, as you guys can see. Nice, nice and kind of tucked away. The Pretorias are a beautiful wheel, but if you're going for that flush look, 
look no further. <laughs> Guys, these look so nice. So I did go for another 19 inch wheel. I've always complained about 19 inch wheels on this car, so kind of confused why I did that, but I like retaining this look. I think Golfs looks sick on 19s. Um, no matter what the model GTI is. It's kind of the perfect, uh, you know, it fits the wheel well. Obviously you can get a big tire, that'll also fit, but I'm kind of a less less tired the better type of guy, <laughs> even though like my, my driving reviews and my ride quality reviews say otherwise, but I'm very excited to throw these on. Probably what I'll end up doing is getting summer tires for this, um, for these wheels and then once that happens, I'll just throw them on and run it for the rest of the winter time because I've done it before, um, and I'm a spaz, I'm very impatient, so I'm gonna end up wanting to put these on as soon as possible. I'm gonna definitely, <laughs> definitely try to spring for that. So these are them guys, the APR wheels. I'm very, very happy with it. Um, this is not a sponsored brand deal. Um, however, APR, if you're watching, I like those steering wheels, those look pretty nice. But uh, but yeah, no, it's really, uh, really kind of coming together. Once this. Once those wheels are on, we'll just be closer and closer to kind of wrapping up the build. But as you know, the build's never over. Obviously, there's some more things that I want to do. Um, something I've actually, I don't know why I've waited so long, but I, uh, I do want to do this dynamic um, swoop type of deal for the indicators. I got them before, but they ended up shorting out the circuit for the uh, whole door, so. <laughs> I ended up taking them out and sending them back and getting the Euro tails. Anyway, I'm very sidetracked as per usual, but guys, check it out. These are gonna be on the car hopefully very soon. I'm gonna keep the Pretorias. Please, 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 please don't make offers on the Pretorias. They're not for sale. Um, in fact, I believe through the entire ownership of this car, I've had offers on the Pretorias when I had no other wheels. So um, I understand they're a hot commodity, but I really, I'm not selling them. <laughs> they're staying with me. These APR wheels, love them. So uh, Pretorias are likely gonna be my winner set for next winter. Um, and obviously, as long as I wait to get tires for this, and then once I get tires for this, depending on how aggressive the tires are and what kind of deal I get, of course, I'm gonna probably end up swapping it. <laughs> you know, we're <clears throat> we're almost into January, just getting through December, so that leaves January, February, and then March is kind of that like joke month. So, and I think I can make it. I think I make it two months. Two months in summer tires is fine. So um, these will be coming on the car very shortly. I do apologize for kind of giving you guys a reveal without throwing them on the car. Um, however, I'm not gonna leave you guys in the dark. I wanted to share with you everything that kind of happens, especially with the build. Going into 2023 is kind of my, my number one goal is to make sure that I am, you know, well documenting this car um, as it is probably my favorite car um, as I've ever owned. So, ah. Oh cold it's cold it's cold so i'm gonna end the video there hopefully you guys like the uh, the new wheels um if you have any recommendations for tires let me know you know and uh yeah i'm looking forward to seeing your guys comments so all right well we'll leave it at that thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one peace